my name is Steve Opolinik. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and co-founder of the Promethean Project. In America, uh, in 2017, there were 43.8 million people who were struggling with a mental health issue. All right, this is a big number. Uh, one in five adults and one in 25 show uh, chronic struggles with mental health. If you couple that, if we just take depression for an example, uh, there are a lot of comorbid things that occur with depression. Addiction at 58%, heart disease at 65 stroke at 27 and diabetes at 30%. That's a lot. And what the literature says, the best way to combat this stuff is integrative uh, healthcare therapies, uh, doing physical um, check-ins with providers, doing mental health counseling, and also having a community of support. Really, one of the biggest things out there is not being treated differently, having no stigma and getting on with your life and still having goals to work on. Sounds good. Doesn't happen a lot of the time. We see 60% of those 43.8 million people never really engage in a therapeutic relationship. Right? So this is a big problem. So, locally, what we're seeing is it's not just all around the United States. Massachusetts has 3% higher on addiction rates than the national average, right? In Springfield alone, in 2016, there were 40 uh, overdose deaths through opi opioids. In 2018, there were 80. Dope. So it's definitely a big problem. And so, so um, I've seen a lot of people struggle with this, but I've also been someone who struggled with this. In eighth grade, I was diagnosed with a heart murmur. That led to some depression uh, and led to some obesity that came along with it. Um, soon after that, I had an eating disorder, just a, what's called emotional <coughs> overeating. And every practitioner I went to said, hey, lose weight, eat better. No follow-up, no real plan to do it. Nothing was streamlined. where we come in. We're really focused on creating that community and that integrative approach to really help people, uh, the members that we're going to focus on, uh, people who are trying to make changes in their mental health, physical health, recovery from substance abuses or behavioral uh, addictions, uh, or anyone who's just really trying to connect with the community and bring up the value of their life. Right? And that's where a lot of people focus, but we're also focusing on the practitioners as well. People who want to be part of an integrative team don't know how to do it, may not have the resources or the spaces to do it, and really working with their pain points to kind of blend it all together and come up with something new. So we house all this stuff, the community, the practitioners, the physical and mental aspect, all under one house. Currently we're working on building that center, but right now we're using uh, donated spaces. And so how it works is, we, it will be a functioning gym, where we offer classes in yoga, uh, personal training and group classes, or just stop in and exercise at your will. It will be mental health counseling. Uh, the practitioners will be there, so they'll, they'll be part of the integrative team. We'll have case management, which would be a contact point who's going to collaborate all this care between providers, uh, the member, and then um, even some community members once that's signed up. And the community is the real heart of what we're trying to do. A non-stigma-based um, community where everyone's just on equal ground and can come together and interact with each other without worrying about, oh, is this a, an addict? Is this person in recovery? Is there a mental health concern here? Everyone's the same in this community. Right? So we got programming that we started, the Jared Koslick Mentorship Program. That is allowing people in recovery and low income to access our services for free. Right, the Strengthening a Healthy Families program is working at the Family Center to really identify the education behind addiction and recovery. And then the Brian uh, ODN is the Youth Leadership Initiative that we're working So our process is HIPAA compliant. We meet with our member, we, have them, uh, we do an assessment, we have them sign a release so we can talk to their providers, and then sit down with our members to really make a streamlined treatment plan on their goals and needs. They then have access to our services. And then we have week, uh, monthly meetings as a team with the member, and then also quarterly assessments to kind of look at the progress that's been made. 
And this really gives a sense of direction to the members on what they should do and changes they should make and a sense of accountability and support. And for practitioners, what it does, it, it makes them part of the community so they're not just standalones, they're part of the integrated process. Currently, we're do, we've worked with some colleges. We, have, we started the youth leadership program last year, and we are using donated spaces to run our classes and some mental health counseling. So how are we going to get people? Through referrals and networking and word of mouth. Through our website. Uh, we just started a podcast, too, where we interview people, potential members or practitioners, and we talk about their life stories and their struggles and what they found helpful. And then also social media places. How we're going to keep them is we have online support groups that anyone can access when they're not in the community center, and they're just out in general life. And that will be a bunch of members, so it will be run primarily through the members, but just be a, a place for them to talk. Uh, community forums about issues that people have, uh, our monthly newsletters, and then rewards and incentive programs for people to stay on track. We're going to grow by doing some community outreach in, in the Western Mass area, offer scholarships for some of our members to increase their knowledge, offer board positions for some of our members as well, and then having an in-center mentoring program. So our key metrics to success are things like the donor retention rate, uh, you know, the, the member rates, keeping people on point, but more so it's about the impact that we have, advancing people towards their goals and seeing that positive impact. So we do have some competitors, the YMCA is a big one, other mental health counseling centers and uh, other case managements, but we don't really see them as competitors and this is what helps us build our remote. So it's co-opetition. We can fill those gaps for them. We can work in tandem with already established places and have more longevity. 